mud contamination uh, yesterday we were discussing about some of the problems that come during drilling and uh, they can be very expensive as we said or they can cause you uh, almost the half amount of the drilling cost of a well and uh, so some of these problems as we said are related to the drilling equipment some of the problems are related with the mud and uh, as we when we were discussing about the drilling mud and we said that drilling mud controls the well bore and the integrity and it also guarantees the longevity of a well that how long the reservoir can produce today we will continue to see some of the other factors uh, that can be of uh, contamination or that can be of damage to the well uh, mud contamination a mud is said to be contaminated when a foreign material enters the mud system and causes undesirable changes in mud properties such as density viscosity and filtration sometime uh, in some wells where we have uh, water based muds the the rocks that are adjacent to the well the well bore actually some of these uh, elements or some of these uh, minerals they get dissolved and they become part of the uh, mud system and they make the mud system as contaminated and uh, sometime mud contamination can result from over treatment of the mud system with additives or from material entering the mud during drilling sometime uh, aap pressure badhane ke liye ya to maintain the uh, pressure in the bore hole while drilling like for example if you are having a kick agar aapke paas jo formation fluids hain they are giving you high pressure then the pressure in the well bore sometime you add some additives in the drilling fluid and some of these additives sometime what they do they try to damage your well bore and as a result of that uh, the mud can be contaminated and as a result of contamination uh, some of these uh, uh, wells they can have serious issues due to the mud contamination some of the common contaminants include solids and uh, they can be gypsum and hydride that can give us uh, as well as the lime some uh, soluble bicarbonates and carbonates sulfides salts most of these uh, rocks you see are the chemical sedimentary rock similarly sometime uh some of these uh, minerals can all, as well be present as a cement like sandstone can be cemented with calcite we need to be careful uh, when we were uh, using the water based mud because water based mud is uh, less costly and is widely used in the world and then probably there are more chances that uh, these contaminants can cause uh, damage to the well okay now the formation damage as we just have discussed that if the fluid uh, the mud is contaminated then it can damage the formation or it can damage the formation is that uh, you know we we are drilling uh, a well and uh, we are going to a place we don't know much about and it is like the reservoir rock and uh, normally in a reservoir rock we know we have the mud cake the development of mud cake but sometime the development of mud cake is not like very uh, pronounced or very strong in case of uh, reservoirs that are very uh, you can call it uh, in case the reservoir that are very porous or the reservoirs that are having karstification or the reservoirs that are have more buggy porosity and sometime the uh, skin of the well bore okay okay so the uh, the fluid uh, from the formation it sometime enters the uh, reservoir rock 
and as a result when it enters the reservoir of it disturbs its permeability and effective porosity and as a result later on uh, it can cause you heat huge damage in terms of uh, the production and in terms of the uh, and in terms of the uh, damage to the reservoir rock and sometimes these uh, damages cannot be recovered a primary reason for formation damage is that uh, uh, similarly the fluids uh, that are uh, recovered from the uh, reservoir are uh, strongly affected by the well bore region the fluid that are present in the well and uh, what they can do they can damage the permeability in the reservoir rock and uh, similarly the reservoir properties and later on when uh, we are trying to complete the drilling completion and even the production uh, operations will be affected if uh, the formation fluid or uh, the fluid from the well bore enters into the reservoir uh, one of the uh, common example is uh, solid plugging uh, in which you see some of the solids from the drilling fluid they enter into the reservoir rock and then they uh, just occupy the connectivity places uh, of the reservoirs and uh, these uh, solids they sometimes they come from the filtrate the mud cake and uh, and uh, they just block just like illite clays in the reservoir and as a result of that these uh, pore spaces are closed and if there is any fluid entrapped here the chances are there that it cannot go to the well bore and as a result the overall permeability of the reservoir can be decreased by 40 50 or maybe 80 percent and uh, how to minimize this damage the thing is we need to minimize the amount of uh, fine solids in the drilling fluid and we also want that the drilling fluid is not contaminated the drilling mud is not contaminated from the formation uh, formations th that we are drilling in normally uh, these type of problems come when we have a succession in which we have carbonates evaporites and uh, sandstones carbonates and evaporites they normally contaminate the mud uh, to a larger quantity and as a result of that uh, we have the problem of uh, solids that uh, sometimes destroy the porosity and permeability of the reservoir rock or how to uh, minimize the formation damage everything uh, is said that uh, you plan a better well and the chances are there that you will have a minimum uh, formation damage uh, but you cannot make it zero or you cannot make it 100% perfect that you get, you say we can make a well that is 100% uh, safe from formation damage that is not possible and uh, as a result uh, the uh, uh, impact of uh, these uh, damages on the hydrocarbon put, uh, production is uh, immense and we want to reduce it uh, to the minimum so that uh, uh, we can have a well bore with the significant uh, well preserved reservoir and uh, we can uh, control that by controlling the drilling fluid and while controlling the composition of the drilling fluid and as you know we we can uh, change the composition of the drilling fluid at any time and that can reduce the formation damage and it can enhance the ability of the well uh, to produce fluids so we can control the uh, drilling mud and uh, with that we can have uh, better drilling completion and production jobs at the well site uh, hole cleaning hole cleaning is actually you know is a function of uh, drilling uh, mud if the uh, drilling mud as you know it uh, it travels and uh, it from the well bore and takes the uh, cuttings from the uh, drill well from the drill bit to the surface through the annular space uh, if there is um, a break in that 
then the chances are there that the hole cannot be cleaned and uh, it has uh, some cuttings in it so what type of damages hole cleaning can cause as we discussed yesterday it can cause pipe sticking that uh, if it is not removing the drill cuttings then the chances are there that it can be stick to the wall and uh, as a result we can have the mechanical pipe sticking problem or maybe the bit is uh, damaged some of the uh, nails in the bit are uh, damaged as a result of uh, sticking or as a result of partial or maybe deviation a little bit it can also cause uh, slow drilling uh, because the it can reduce the amount of drill if it is drilling at some certain speed then maybe if the uh, drill cuttings are not removed then maybe the drilling can be slow it can also induce formation fracturing if the cuttings are not removed maybe the drilling fluid uh, in some zones of the well can have higher pressure and as a result wants to enter in the formation and can, can cause formation fracturing excessive torque and drag on drill string maybe the amount of uh, force that we are trying to produce through the drilling maybe it can be increased or maybe it can be decreased and maybe there is some blockage or bridging in the well and uh, similarly if the annular space is not clean the space between the drill string and the well bore is not clean then we can have problem in logging and cementing similarly we can have difficulties in uh, casing if the annular space is not clean then the casing cannot be lowered down all all these problems come with hole cleaning and uh, we need to have a better uh, job of drilling fluid in order to maintain our hole uh, clean because it can uh, easily cost us uh, drilling uh, uh, and it is a major cause of drilling problems equipment related uh, drilling problem i think we are just trying to wrap up our uh, topic and uh, it includes uh, uh, as as you know uh, drill string as we were discussing the rig components and you know there are different uh, rig components especially the high stick assembly the blower preventers and uh, all the uh, uh, derrick floor and everything uh, most of these problems are also related uh, with uh, equipment and uh, some of these are listed here uh, pump pump power and sometime if the pumps are not working properly the chances are there that the drill cuttings are not coming up and maybe the chances that the hole cannot be cleaned and uh, hoisting problems for efficient tripping out hoisting is you know the hoisting unit is the the cables that are attached to the top derrick floor and as a result uh, the uh, drill string is attached to it and it moves up and down and if you want to uh, finish an operation you have to move all drill string to the top and similarly proper direct design and uh, to manage the uh, force and tension and uh, if the uh, direct floor is not strong enough like for example if you have uh, a pipe sticking problem and then the chances are there that uh, you want to move the pipe out of the bore hole then uh, the chances are there that it cannot be moved similarly some well control systems that allow kick control under any kick situation ram preventers annular preventers internal preventers all of these are like the types of the blowout preventers some of them are attached to the derrick floor so that uh, even if the drilling uh, is stopped the formation fluids don't have the opportunity to travel to the surface and damage the uh, well bore as we can say that understanding and anticipating drilling problems understanding their causes and planning solutions are necessary for overall well cost control and for successful reaching the target zone well that's all for today thank you